One thing he could do was run. One off, you couldn't beat him. He was unbeatable at the Brumbies. He was the quickest over 10 metres for the Brumbies. What he did was owned the plate when he stepped up to it. Welcome to another episode of the Hot Rod Challenge, and I'm joined by a man who's done a lot in his day and a lot of long-distance stuff. Look at them. Physique on him, Gus Wall, and welcome to the Hot Rod Challenge. Hey, so thank you so much. I, I am used to marathons and half marathons. I know, mate. Just off the radio show, had Maccas at uh, East Lakes on the way over, so I've got belly full of food and I'm ready to go. Perfect, mate. Let's see how you do. Okay. Tell you what, mate. I'll tell you what. What is it, Case? That is an unbelievable time. 1.86. Oh. <laughs> mate, that is like a highlight. There it is there, mate. Look, 1.857. We can call 1.86. Beautiful. Mate, that's quicker than Mitchell Johnson. Um, Braith and Asta, mate, you are... Quicker electric. than Braith and Asta? Oh, well, that's, well, everybody, let's face it, everybody's was slow, even at his peak. He was hopeless. But Mitchell Johnson yeah. surprising me. No, you got it. Off the short run. Well, hey, okay, thanks for having me, mate. Awesome, mate. Appreciate it. Well done, Gussie. Safe to the uh, no expenses spared leaderboard. Gus Wallen with a rocket to seven. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Faster than almost, Mitchell Johnson. Almost got Griggs as well if you'd maybe not had that Maccas on the way over. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. That is incredible.